Hello, in this episode we are going to be making a proximity healing rod. It's going to be a rod that when we stand next to it, it's going to beam little particles at us that heal us. This is based on an idea from uh, Elite Boss on episode 121, the particle beams. Here's Infernal Minion. Yes, yes. I can see you're desperate to get going there. Look how excited you are. Okay. That's where my rod is going to be. I'm going to put it on top. Fill, tab, tab, tab. Let's get those coordinates. Let's get a block down. Wink. Button on top. Sign. Summon. Armor stand. Here we go. Summon an armor stand at the coordinates we copied. Let's give it some stuff. Some tags. Only one tag. I'm going to call it Beam Origin. Um, that's probably all we need, but we're not going to want to be able to see it later. And we're going to want it to be a marker. Not now, we'll just put naught for now, but invisible naught. We'll change them later. Pop. Hey, he's ready to go. Look at him. So excited. Both as excited as each other. Look at him. Let's get a controller. Boink. Needs redstone. Repeat. Okay. Let's make some let's make some sort of a little particles come out let's execute at anything that is tagged with beam origin if there is an entity any player within a distance ooh, equals let's say naught to three and again we don't need that naught i like to keep it there just makes it nice and clear naught to three run execute as any entity tag equals beam origin at itself run tp yourself to exactly where you are but I want you to be facing an entity and here I'm going to say random player who is a distance equals naught to three okay so if it's just one person it's going to be constantly picking me as the random player Do you know sometimes it helps if you turn things on hello so I'm within three, so he's looking at me. Okay, let's move away. Yeah, so I am the only person here, so he's constantly looking at me. If Minion comes along as well, he's going to flick between the two of us. Dum, 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 and that's fast enough. Okay. Right, back off, Minion. Go away. Whoa, looks like driving a car backwards. Off he goes. Right. So he's looking at us. Let's get some more stuff happening. Let's summon some area effect clouds. Let's go here. I think we're going to copy all of this right up to the last command, right up to the TP bit. Copy. Done. Pop that in there. So let's just see what we've copied. Execute at to beam origin. If there is any player within a distance of 0 to 3, execute as the beam origin at himself run summon an area effect cloud at that location we better give it some information so it doesn't die instantly duration uh, I'm gonna go for 60 let's see how that works so three seconds and we will tag those as well and they will be tagged with the name beam Okay, well, we're not going to see anything happening at the moment because area reflect counts are invisible. So maybe we should just whack some particles in there. I'm going to put the particles separate. You don't have to, but I'm going to. This is our controller. Done. These will be our particles. Done. And I will execute as 
any entity with the tag beam at themselves particle dust dust has an RGB values I want a purplish color so quite a bit of red no green um, a little blue I can never remember what this value is size I think it might be size at those coordinates the reason it's all red at the moment is because I haven't put the run between at s and particle let's put that in okay uh, and then we need how how big is it how fat on the x 0.01 I want it quite quite small well I want the spread quite small how many no how, how much speed no speed one count normal actually we'll force this one so even if someone turns their particles off they will it won't turn this off so they'll still see this okay so let's turn that on and let's go and stand over here ah there they are <laughs> hello what are you doing down there okay we're probably gonna have to lift you up a bit shortly right let's go away again and let's do a check and let's see what this this number here actually is what if I change this to two okay it's size yeah there we go we've answered a question this one is so we've got R red value between 0 and 1 green value between 0 and 1 blue value between 0 and 1 and size done let's get another command on here so far they're just spitting around by his feet that's no good uh, we want to teleport them forwards now let's go in here because we're gonna go and copy all of this command all the way up to that last run again I believe home copy that's all execute at the beam origin if entity is between 0 and 3 so it's still checking for a player there has to be a player there execute as the beam origin at itself run tp any entity with the tag beam uh, limit equals one and sort equals nearest so what we're going to do now is we are going to teleport it to exactly the same place and these last two so it's facing the same direction that's the important bit here but I'm also going to lift it up a bit as well um, 0.95 done there it is okay how does that how does that work out if we put copper rod yeah that looks like it's coming from about inside of a copper rod okay now we want them to move a bit So we're going to do a bit different this time. We are executing at. Actually, we will copy the beginning bit again. Here we go. Copy all of that. Home. Execute at the beam origin. If there is a person within three blocks, run. Execute as tag. Now we'll change it from here. So shift end. Execute anyone with a tag beam at the beam if entity tagged with beam origin is within a distance of naught to uh, 30 will do I, it's, it's never going to get that far because it only lives for three seconds and then we will run TP yourself one two three and that is forwards there we go I think that's a yeah left left or right up or down forwards or backwards so we're going to be going forwards let's see if we can find out what we've done wrong possibly that space on the end yep that's caught me out many times before that little space on the end done okay let's go and stand close to it ah the healing beam oh it's gone right through me oh that's not very good okay 
execute at any entity tag equals beam that itself if entity any player is within a distance equals naught to well let's just put one for now one run kill yourself so now it shouldn't go through me because it's go oh I'm too close well I have to say that definitely looks like it's going through me let's go and check our command ah but look when we walked away everything else seems to be working okay execute at well that's what we've done wrong we put execute at entity tag equals beam at itself execute as tag equals beam at itself mm, pesty little lats and as is oh there we go it's recognized it's recognized that it's if i move out of the way it'll spread around a bit okay let's let's stand back and let's watch minion have a go minion go and demonstrate yum 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 perfect we might want to up the level a little bit because there is a bit right just travel through them for a second okay let's add some healing well let's demonstrate what happens when we both stand there so you stand there and i'll stand here so it's just going to flick between us spreading the healing beam spreading the healing love thank you very much okay back off minion uh, now we just want to give an effect and here we could change it into a harming beam or any sort of beam we want really execute as all players at themselves if entity any entity with the tag beam is within a distance of ooh, not to well what did we put for the killing it we killed it at one so let's put 1.1 and then what we'll do is run effect give at that person and now we can give them any effect so it's a healing beam so I, I'm going to give them regeneration regeneration for one second you know maybe be generous put two amplifier two and true so we don't get the particles and that's not the particles from the beam that's the particles from the potion effect that's what we don't want done okay healing beam heal me right yeah it's going through me if i press e i've got regeneration if i move it goes the beam swings around oh it's swinging around quickly e Zomp, and gives me regeneration again. Perfect. Minion, do you want to come and join in? Ah, we're both being healed. Now, obviously, if you had a lot of players, you can see that it's spreading the beam between the two of us. So when there's just one, the beam is thicker. If you had a lot of players, this might not work. You could probably just summon another armor stand. Let's just do that. Quick, let's have two stands there. And then you'd have twice as many beams. That's still quite nice and thick, isn't it? Oh, that's all right. I mean, I don't know if you're often going to get situations where you're going to have 20 or 30 people hanging around this thing. It's probably not going to look very good. So I'd say don't try that. Let's get rid of one of those stands. In fact, let's get rid of that one as well. Let's get our rod armor stand. We are now going to make you invisible. And marker invisible done put him back everything's on oh my healing rod healing me away lovely move out of the way it swings around to get me and starts healing me again okay so what you can do here is you could just take the particle block and just whack it on the end doesn't need redstone it's all to chain there we go turn that one off now you've only got one string of commands hey there we go success we have a proximity activated 
healing beam, which is going to come nicely give regeneration to all the people who want to stand around it. But you can't run too fast, otherwise it'll stop healing you. So if you're in a battle situation, mm -hmm, it might be a bit dangerous anyway. Right, and that's it from us too. Well, they're, they're both me. So that's it from me. I will see you next time. Take care.